The Ensemble podcast is intended for professional financial advisors. This content is created in partnership with our sponsor, Net Wealth Investments Limited, ABN 85090 569 109, AFSL 230 975, and is limited to publicly available information. Before acting on any general advice, you should consider whether appropriate and obtain financial advice from a qualified financial advisor. Ensemble does not hold an AFS license and does not provide any financial advice or services or endorse any general advice. If a PDS or IM exists, you should obtain a copy and review it thoroughly before making a decision. I'm Patrick, Head of Technology at professional services firm Collins SBA. I'm a former financial advisor who just loves solving business problems and creating better client experiences using technology. Join me each week as we unpack the tech on offer to advise professionals, stay on top of tech trends, and help you break free from the analysis paralysis experience when building and maintaining a great tech stack. This podcast is proudly sponsored by NetWealth. Imagine a world where your clients have the best wealth technology at their fingers. With NetWealth's next-gen client portal and mobile app, clients can view and manage their portfolio, assets, and accounts wherever they are. By adding external bank and property feeds to their NetWealth account, they can get a true picture of their wealth. And by giving them the ability to transact and manage their cash, they can feel in control of their wealth. A world of client engagement awaits. Discover it at netwealth.com.au forward slash woo. Today, we're talking all things the employee life cycle with M Shuri at Employment Hero. So M's the global head of partner marketing, and she also has a background in payments through her work at GoCardless as the head of marketing for Australia and New Zealand. And in this chat, we delve into how Employment Hero is making it easier for both employees and employers at every stage. So I acknowledge that we're diverting away from financial planning specific advice tech that helps you in the advice process, but bear with me because typically there isn't a dedicated HR manager or head of people in a small to medium financial planning or professional services firm. So either the owners of the firm wear that hat when they want or need to, and that can trickle down to advisors and practice managers normally someone without any formal training and or interest in HR. So whether that's holding effective one-on-ones, performance reviews, career development plans, even giving effective feedback. And that's where something like Employment Hero comes in because it gives you the tools to manage your team in a much more professional, disciplined and engaging way. And it starts at the recruitment and interview stages through to onboarding, payroll, learning and development, EAP, and you know, offboarding and managing employee turnover. I started by asking Em what the oldest piece of tech she still owns is and whether she still uses it. Ooh, really good question. Ballpoint pen and paper, obviously, because you can't have one without the other. Um, but actually, the the reason why I say that, and I think there's a really good story with it, is that actually, I don't know if you know, but the ballpoint pen, or, a pen originates back to the 18, 1888 um, oh. when it was first patented. And so it's been, it was patented by John uh, J. Loud. And he was trying to design a pen, get this, that would reliably write on things other than paper. (laughs) It just blows my mind. But it wasn't suitable for everyday use. So his design didn't go anywhere. It wasn't until 1945 that the first commercially viable ballpoint pen became available. Like, can you imagine that now in this day and age? It sounds like a graffiti origin story in terms of 19th century, I want to write on other things that aren't paper. Geez, that's cool. No, we've yep. actually had pen a few times as the answer, but this is this is definitely my favourite. So yeah. well done for sort of delving into the history there. Um, moving maybe into present day and AI and all that sort of trendy sort of stuff, which I know is embedded in the Employment Hero platform, which we can talk about yep. later. But is there maybe one or two cool ways that you're using AI either personally or in your work life? Yeah, so I use ChatGTP like I feel like almost everyone now on a daily basis. Yep. I use it in quite a unique, well, it's definitely not unique, probably I'm sure other people do it, but I'm not really expressive. So I like to use it to tone things down or add, you know, a different tone in my work or my writing that I'm putting together. Uh, I also use it for lots of idea generation. So if we're, you know, I've got multiple ideas that I'm working on, which one might resonate better with, you know, this audience or that and just see what comes up. It normally tends to be something that I end up kind of validating my own thoughts, which is also really nice, and sometimes creating that new opportunity. But where I thought it was really great from a personal perspective, I actually used it as um, a travel itinerary. So I set up, we, um, Employment Hero is fully remote first company, and every year we go to somewhere for our global gathering. Last year it was uh, Vietnam, 
and we were able to, I just used it, I just typed into best travel itinerary for Vietnam, off the beaten track, single woman, traveling alone, you know, and then it basically pulled everything together and from there I was able to um, come up with what I wanted. Granted, I didn't use it completely, but it gave me those places and it was really funny. I keep pushing in there saying, no, I want to go to this place first and it kept coming Mm. back saying, no, go this way. And when I finally asked someone, it was like, no, 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 you'll waste so much time doing that. So ChatGTV was right even though I was trying to be (laughs) correct. (laughs) Wow, that's really cool. So you've you've got a few things there. So you've got – obviously using it as a sounding board and then sometimes sort of a sanity check, but also, yeah, like I talk about sort of blank canvas anxiety a lot with with tech tools and you're able to like get a really good head start on itinerary, right? And then you can turn it yeah. into something that's sort of hyper-personalized for you. That yeah. is awesome. Um, so as you said, using that on a daily basis. Yeah, that's how I think AI for me is where it's going to go is that ability mm-hmm. to get rid of the – the bits that you don't want to do, but you still need to have the creative aspects of being a human. Like you can't, well, I don't believe we can replace that. Definitely not yet. Um, And that's why I'm not concerned or I really like enjoying it because it just, it gives me time to be creative is really what I like about it. Yeah. No, that's really cool. Um, Yeah. I, I like that answer. So thank you. Yeah. Moving into employment here, I'm really excited for today's sort of uh, session to sort of deep dive into all things. Um, well, it's not just HR. So I guess the first question around employment here was would be where do you think it sits in that sort of tech stack of a sort of professional services business, in particular financial planning, accounting, that sort of thing? Yeah, so good question. Um, employment Hero is solving employment. So it's a really interesting way. We obviously were founded 10 years ago and we made to make employment easier and more valuable for both employers and employees, but it's expanded obviously over that period of time. Um, For many of your audience, they'll know KeyPay. So there was a merger of Employment Hero and KeyPay. Um, So you had HR, then we had payroll and that's all embedded. And since then, we've continued to grow and expand as well. So now I would say we're in that unique uh, position where our challenges are actually helping solve uh, the entire life cycle of the employee, which is awesome. So for example, HR payroll, employee benefits, but we've also now got our super employment super app swag. And this is more aimed at the employees of the SMEs, both present and future. So swag is reshaping the entire employment experience from an individual job seeker. It streams out of work there's career management, flexible pay, which we'll talk about later because it's really exciting, exclusive yep. savings and benefits, all in one use, easy to use app. So we kind of took the process of like that work app that employers give to their employees and we right. flipped it and we went, let's make an app that's designed for the employees to then take with them through their life cycle of their entire career. So, yeah, a very, very different place. And so, therefore, now you've got employer benefits that help swag. And then, you know, if your employee is using Employment Hero, they get access to it. So, it's kind of, yeah, a super app, an employment super app. It's never been done before, which is really exciting. Yeah. No, that's that's incredible insight. I think we as a business are users of Employment Hero. And I didn't, didn't even really think about that application of taking that app with you maybe after the the tenure sort of ceases in that current employer. Like it makes sense because, you know, you've got, what is it, over 300,000 businesses using the platform, which I think translates to, what is it, over 2 million employees that are effectively managed through the platform. Yes. So the odds are, at least in Australia, what's that, 15% of employed Australians use (laughs) Employment Hero. So it makes sense that there'd be a high chance that your next employer is going to be using employment here, right? Would that be a fair assumption? Yep, and that's exactly what we want. So, you know, if the idea for – like for me, I am the worst person when it comes to knowing where my tax file number is, knowing all of right. my employment details, like even just joining – like when I first joined Employment Hero and I was putting my things in, I'd been obviously in my previous role for four years – I had no idea when any of that stuff is. And like most people are like, you should know that. But I'm a creative, you know, people person. I don't have mm-hmm. all the, you know, those sorts of things put into place. I don't know where they are. So going back through that and then I realized, oh, I've looked, you know, don't have my access to my email from my previous place. Maybe it was there. Can't look up those documents. So the idea of being able to like take this up to the next employee, employer 
and just literally by a click of a button, yep, here's all my details, ready to go, I've, I've given you permission to share them, is amazing. Um, yeah. But also, even if they're not on Employment Hero, I still have all the details in one place. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, awesome. No, that's really cool. And it's probably the first app in that sort of HR category that really is putting that employee experience first. Like it's not just a here's your your policies, here's where, I don't know, we do, you know, one-on-ones and coaching and all those sort of maybe traditionally seen as sort of compliance, checkboxy, tickboxy kind of stuff. Like it's really pushing the envelope in terms of what's possible. Um, I mean, you, you've referred to, you spoke about swag there, which I'm really keen to learn more about, I think, later in the episode. But yep. you've got... Some sort of other add-ons as well, like, and this sort of complements the scale of the platform. But would you mind sort of talking about some of those other add-on services? Like, you've got, uh, for example, an LMS as well as like EAP, like those sort of things, which are on the website seen as little add-ons, but actually incredibly, incredibly powerful. Yeah. So, what's really great about it is that we have also our integrations. So we basically have the ability to integrate with all sorts of other types of businesses as well. So is it an add-on or is it in fact an integration? Like the, it, I think oh, okay. the way you're looking at the LMS, for example, is mm-hmm. in fact kind of like a great integration. Uh, so with our mm-hmm. Go One platform as well. So it's it, there's lots of things that we can do. So we actually have really amazing integrations and those integrations, for example, say, for example, we've got zero integration. Um, and so, like with that zero integration, what I love about it is that, you know, if you're a small business that has zero and you've been using zero payroll, but you've outgrown zero payroll, or you've now mm-hmm. got really complicated awards, or you've moved into different, you can really easily switch across into um, em- onto Employment Hero and still continue to use the general ledger. Um, and then at the same time, we also have the... Um, uh, the, the same thing again, which is where zero basically HR, you can use that at any stage. And if you do decide to move or what, switch, you can always continue using it. So they're the sorts of things that we find really great. So what we've done recently in, with another integration, which is a fantastic and is brand new. So it was launched this last month. We launched Google Workspace and Microsoft 365 integration, which helps oh. SMEs move closer to one click hiring. So, okay, what does that mean? We basically now have a situation is that if you are with uh, Google and you need to set up your Google account, so that workspace, so your email, et cetera, for an employee, you can do that through Employment Hero. Uh It automatically does it. So there's so much double handling when you think about that, but now you can do that. But it also means you can offboard as well. So if you remove someone from Employment Hero because they're no longer with you, it will automatically do that. So this double handling, so is it an add-on again? Yes, because it's only available to our premium account. So yes, it's you know an yeah. add-on, but it's a fantastic integration that means that you the huge time savings. And I think that's where like I'm really excited about it being in in partnerships. That to me is an amazing partnership where we're sharing technology and developing ways of being able to save time for businesses. Yeah, I mean it. It sounds simple, but it's it's definitely in terms of that email provisioning or switching off. But it's definitely yeah, it's until now it's just been a manual task that happens, you know, consistently if someone on boards or off boards. Like it's just as simple as that. So it makes total sense. And I think to in financial planning in particular, it's known for having lots of systems that don't like integrate or play very well with each other. So you end up with multiple bits of software that are there for just like one specific purpose and they're not really talking to each other. So it's really refreshing to see something like employment here where there is actually that one place for everything HR or team member related, like even Xero, for example, until recently had more than one app to do, like one app for your pay slips and one app for logging expense claims. But what you're sort of saying there is that's, that is integrated into employment here if you have the need, desire and sort of the right um, integration set up too. Yeah. It's, it's, and I think that's where I'd like to see, AI and even integration is moving the future is that what mm-hmm. are we what are we creating so rather than an integration that is you know that does exactly what you're kind of talking about one thing for one you know I, I believe in best, best in breed uh, when it comes to integrations and working with different tech your, your tech stack uh, but yep. at some but sometimes 
you can have too many and that they don't talk to each other. And so when it comes to the ecosystem, I'd like to be able to see in the future that we're actually developing really valuable integrations that allow us to be able to do exactly that, save time. Yep. And like it, it's a great like onboarding experience for a new hire, right? Like if they're actually entering the business through Employment Hero, like through, you know, I assume they're using their personal email when they're you know, going for that, that application or that role. And then that, as we sort of discussed, manually turns into a, a Google email or a, um, you know, Microsoft email. But yeah, like it, it creates a lot of consistency and trust straight up, right? Because you've got this, this one system where everything is sort of happening. That's everything related to me as a team member or as a person. And as you said, pick it up and take it with you. Um, if 100%. You, if you move roles, et cetera. Like we've talked a lot about the, um, which is actually the opposite of what I thought. We've talked a lot, a lot about team members and their experience, which is invaluable. In terms of like the types of users that use Employment Hero, do we do you mind sort of spending a little bit of time talking about, um, I guess, the other users of the tool? Like if we're thinking about like HR managers or, or like head of people, like how are they using the tool? Is that on sort of a daily, weekly basis or, yeah, what, what's a typical way that they would be using the tool? Yeah, it, it's interesting you say that. It's um, – we, we – joke a lot in payroll that like people say payroll is like you know once a month it's like payroll is like every single day you know because it's it's you know so it's not it's not just a weekly thing you get paid months a month but it's not just a once a month thing for a lot of or those that are using the tool so it is a daily process um and so you've got payroll and hr and i think that the really exciting thing is that because we've embedded it and really it's everyone within the, the business that can actually be using it You've got different mm-hmm. roles and, and opportunities. So um, you've got your HR that can be accessing it for HR. You've got your payroll admins that begin access, accessing it. But you've also got um, managers that can be jumping into the platform and actually using it for things like shout outs. Um, and plus, actually, we have a really great integration with that. So we've got a Slack integration where it can actually help yeah. managers, you know, do shout outs more effectively and be able to empower the team. So that's really great. Mm-hmm. But on an employee engagement aspect as well, actually, I'll just sort of dive into the now where I've kind of gone there. We actually mm-hmm. have the ability um, to have hero points, um, which is a kind of like um, a, the opportunity to be able to give someone sort of money and benefits in a way. And hero points can be uh, tax free, which is awesome. Uh, so they've got mm-hmm. fringe benefit, fringe benefit uh, f- uh, free. And basically what that means is that you can actually reward your employees via the platform. So you can give a shout out and then you can um, actually send somebody to be able to get these hero points. But the other exciting benefit for that is you have those hero points that can be then accessed by their swag account and their swag Mm -hmm. spend account, which is actually a fintech product. So Employment Hero is also now a fintech. And because of that, you can then spend that money, those hero points on a one of our cashback offers that you have within the platform then that cashback comes back into your swag account and then you can spend it on another cashback offer so what you've done is like managers are able to reward their employees and then their employees can make that you know reward go as far as they'd like Mm -hmm. as possible so you have these different people that are using it so yes hr um and all of the i guess i would call it the, the the compliance um, and the, the the everyday use of HR, but I think where it gets really exciting is all the things that other in, you know employment apps probably don't have, which is that ability to engage um, with other parts of the people you know within the business. So yes, the employees are getting all of these exciting things, but I think really where it's valuable is that employers and the managers can also then reward and incentivize. And even for example, we have um, OKRs. So you can see clearly your OKRs. Uh, um, so for those like key performance of, you know, different tasks, we have very clear OKRs in the business. Every single person has to work towards an OKR um, and we log that into Employment Hero and that can roll up as well. So you can see where every individual employee is actually impacting the business. And I think that's a really valuable aspect of the the product that we probably don't talk about from a when you're onboarding a particular platform, you kind of think about right. all the legislation, all the things that are actually doing it. But then the actual use on an everyday basis, I think that's where it becomes really exciting. Um, 
Oh, definitely. Like, there's a lot to unpack there. I think um, I think you've unlocked an infinite money hack there with the cashback on the cashback. Looks like but it. The, but like the yeah, I was just going to say like there is a lot of power in rewarding team members with something like a points, which is obviously translates to like a frequent flyer style experience, and letting them decide how they spend it rather than assuming what someone would like as a gift. Like I assume, I'm now assuming, but I assume most gifts that um, team, members, team members receive, more would be unhappy than happy with the gifts that they received. But even if you get the points, you don't have to spend it all at once. You can save up for something that you are maybe looking at in the swag store. Um, I checked out my balance and it's looking very unhealthy, but, you know, you've got chainsaws, you've got a tent, a dash cam, hair straightener, and the only other thing was, unfortunately, I can't buy a five-star performance review yet, but maybe that's coming soon. Uh-huh. But yeah, just that freak, that frequent flyer style online shopping experience is similar to when I actually used to w- work at a big four bank where the only reason they sort of had that similar experience is because their scale. But because of the scale of Employment Hero, you're able to give that sort of toolkit to sort of everyday businesses where there's no way that they'd be able to implement that themselves or sort of experience the cost of of running a scheme like that, right? Patrick, you nailed it. Like it's democratising the benefits that you would get from a big multinational to an everyday business that can then access that. It's 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 pretty mind-blowing that that's actually possible mm-hmm. and the fact that you can do that, as you said before, with the scale, the number of employees that we have, with the number of businesses that we have on the platform and as that grows. And so in Australia, obviously, we're working really hard on that and then we'll scale that globally. But the thing that I find really fascinating about it is that the more we get, the more businesses we have on the platform, the more employees we have on the platform, the more recruit uh, like uh, uh, candidates looking for jobs mm-hmm. on the platform – the more benefit they're going to end up getting. Like it's just, it's going to snowball and it'll snowball really quickly. Employment Hero has, I don't know if you know, so it, uh, Icelandic horses have additional gates, so they have different speeds. Did you know that? They Than uh, the normal horses. Okay. Like a speed limit? Well, not a speed limit, but like basically you've got the trot, yeah, and you've got the gallop, but the oh, Icelandic horses have an additional gate, so they oh, have- Like a um, six gear sort of thing. Correct, exactly. Right, okay. That's how yep, I see your employment hero. We have an additional speed in which we bring products mm. to market. <laughs> we okay. are There's fast and then there's super fast, and that's what I see yep. is this. We are just going to snowball in this area where it's just going to be even more beneficial for businesses and beneficial for employees to be using Employment Hero. So, yeah, that's where, that's yeah. why it's exciting. That's why I've joined the business. <laughs> oh, definitely. And it's, yeah, it's one of those sort of unique um, opportunities where instead of a business growing and, and the businesses that already use the tool get left behind, they actually enjoy the benefits, right? Like that's pretty rare and pretty yeah. compelling. Um, I mean, just on that, like if we, if we sort of move to um, talking about you know, businesses and, and making sure that the right fit for Employment Hero. Like, have you got any sort of insight on, you know, what sort of practice or firms that it works really well for or maybe those that it doesn't work so well for? Like, would you say Employment Hero is suitable for a business of any size? Yeah, so you're right. Employment Hero is suitable for a business of any size. Uh, we, I would say our sweet spot is between 10 and 1,000. But that's not to say okay. we can't do smaller businesses and and, and bigger businesses. But where I yep. see us being a really great fit, not to say we're not a great fit for any of the other businesses, but we're an exceptional fit, is our is businesses that have got a casualized workforce. Right. Because of our we have you talk about add-ons, we've got different types of tools that we can add on to say, for example, if you're in, in construction, that you can actually see where somebody is actually geolocated and tagged so that they can when they oh, check wow. in and they're staying there on site they're actually on site so you've got that ability uh, Servo, for checking yep. ice coffee yep yeah yep, <laughs> yep exactly um so you know where they're actually starting from um but also at the same time so really great for like casualized workforce in complicated um awards care construction all of those sorts of things so when you start getting complicated when payroll mm. gets complicated when you when you um when any of that sort of starts to happen, that's when we become a really great play um, because other tools don't do it as well. And then sometimes also in the, in the places you actually need to have additional more um, tools that help you do that individual thing. You talked about it previously where it's like 
this tool does this one thing really mm-hmm. well, but it doesn't connect with anything else. That's where I think uh, Employment Hero has really done a great job of being able to kind of find those particular things in an employment situation that is needed and be able to either build it or have great, a really great integra- integration to be able to um, solve for that that talks really well with both the HR and the payroll systems. No, that's really insightful, and I think yeah, it's a big it's a big challenge to be that big of a business and sort of suit those sort of workforces where it's not you know it's not everyone's full time equivalent or part time that sort of thing. So um, yeah, that's that's great, and it's a sort of similar or seamless experience for um, you know no matter what employer or that the employee is logging into. So that's really insightful. I mean, just on that, would you have any sort of insider tips that you'd give to people as they sort of on board? Is there anything you'd sort of say there or like where should they start? Yeah, so we have both uh, guided implementation and managed implementation. So it's a really great way to be able to pick and choose as a business which one you would like to move forward with. Um, It depends on, I think, to be honest, the setup and for me, for most tech, you know, tools that you do, the setup is really important. And then the training of anything that new that of new things that come out. So one where we see areas of the setup is to make sure that you've got the correct awards, the correct setup for you to be able to pay your employees correctly with that HR, you know, any changes coming through from your HR products, which is awesome. So you need to make sure that that setup's done really well. So I think mm-hmm. taking time in that very beginning stage to actually look at the business and but also potentially look at the business and how it's growing to be able to ensure that you've communicated this is actually what we need overall. Um, but then right. um, we also work with other um, partners. So we have accountants and bookkeepers that work as partners. We can also work with your accountant and bookkeeper in that sense. So we actually have some that are tr- fully trained on Employment Hero, others that just advise in the payroll advisory space, but we can give access or the business, I should say, can give access to the to the partner to be able to see in and help advise on that as well. So I also believe having a really good advisor on those sorts of things is really important as well. So they would be my two key points. Set up well and have a really good advisor on that. Now, it might be using our, our customer service, but it could also be having a third party. And I think in this space where businesses need to grow, it's always great to have, I would call them business coaches. Um, and I'd like mm-hmm. to see the accountants and bookkeepers of the world actually become more coaches of businesses because I, that, mm-hmm. to me, that's you need a coach. You know, elite sports people don't, you know, become elite mm-hmm. sports people without a coach. And I think that's really important for businesses as well. Yeah. And what you're sort of saying there too is having those bookkeepers or accounting professionals get involved and be included in the process rather than, hey, we changed our HR software, deal with it sort of vibes. Correct. Yeah. Because <laughs> they have gotcha. this knowledge. They have a wealth of knowledge. And I think we need to be tapping into that in every every aspect. I'm a big believer in collaboration for, you know, partnerships and working together. And I think in a world where we can be incredibly competitive, we can also be incredibly collaborative and collaboration can also be, you know, a high performing and ensure that we're getting to where we need to go as a business. But especially for small business, um, I think it's really important to collaborate. Um, you know, brand, uh, there's a there's a business, I don't know if you know, it's a, a really cool business run by, an, um, was run by an amazing female leader called Collabosaurus. It was literally a business built around how brands could collaborate um, to actually improve, oh, you know, cool. their opportunities. Yeah, yeah, so big believer, big believer in collaboration. Yeah, now that name, I love how that name just sort of clicks in terms of it, it doesn't make sense at all and then as soon as you say what they do, it does. Like that's really cool. Yeah. Um, and it, just on that payroll um, discussion, like it's not like the stakes aren't high. Like if you're being paid monthly and your pay is sometimes even like hours late, like team members notice and they go, what's going on here? Like why is payroll late? And, you know, if that's day, it turns into days and you're you paid at that cadence, like it's not not a good look and you yeah, have to pay pay your team. Um, no, yeah. that's really, really great insight. One, one of the things we like to say is like you don't want to be seen on the, you know, on the news feed of accountants daily that you've been mm. <laughs> paying <laughs> your employees yeah. incorrectly. And it, no, it exactly. and it is. It's complicated. Australia has one of the most complicated, you know, employment systems in the world. So I think in that sense, if you look at Employment Hero as a local business, I'm a you know a, a unicorn in an Australian unicorn. 
it's a pretty mm. awesome opportunity to work with an Australian business who is built for Australian businesses. You know, Ben Thompson, our CEO, employment lawyer in Australia, built this because he wanted to make sure mm. that businesses were compliant and that's that's what's really exciting about that. Yeah. And, I mean, just on that, like we've used, um, you know, other tools in the past and like it, it just has that Australianized vibe or feel when you log in. Like it just feels immediately comfortable. Like it doesn't feel like it's a off-the-shelf sort of US um, platform, which is the one we were using prior. I actually can't remember the name of it, but um, it sort of shows how memorable it was. But, um, yeah. Anyway. You don't get to take it with you. So, so. Oh, exactly. Yeah, there's no no sort of cashback on the cashback. So, yeah. I guess moving, we've spoken a lot about integration and, you know, we talked about zero. Do you mind sort of taking us through like the, um, like the experience of actually posting, posting a job ad? Like I've, I've heard that you actually integrate with sort of those job boards. Like you've got, sorry, you've got swag, which has its own job board, if I'm not mistaken. But then you've also got those integrations with those sort of reputable platforms like Seek, et cetera. Do you mind sort of touching on that yes. process, how so that works? Basically what we've what we've done with Swag is we've been able to pull for the moment all of the jobs into our Swag app so you can see them in uh, one place to be able to access yep. them. So that's where that fits so that candidates that are signing up for a Swag app to be a candidate can then see all of those apps and then we can kind of connect them. In the future – like where we would like to see is we would love to see our business, so our 300,000 businesses posting job ads in swag to then be able right. to meet, match with these candidates. Now, if, and the one of the most exciting things, and I don't know how much I can actually sh- share, but I think it was really cool and it was really great, is the mm. ability to be able to see, for example, candidates that match the same types of roles that you already currently have in your business straight away. Okay. So you can kind of look at your employment tree um, and see the hierarchy of everything and then be able to go, cool, we need to, you know, hire another SDR. Let's go find SDRs now. Before you've even lodged that job, you don't even need to, you don't even need to lodge the job, you view actually or the, the, uh, the opening because you can already start to see the candidates that are already there. So that's where it becomes smart match in the sense of it's instant, mm-hmm. like how someone can find a job almost instantly is because they're actually finding a job before the job is even even before the business even knows that, that, you know, is needed really, you're kind of going, oh, we need to like scale our team. Oh, let's have a look. And then you can automatically find them. So, yeah, that's that's oh, where it's, it's fitting at the moment. It's just it's it's going to – it will revolutionise recruitment um, and yeah. that's very exciting. <laughs> I mean, imagine oh, if you, is- like, you know, someone contacted you because you they, they had a job offer that hadn't actually been listed yet. Like it's very proactive. Like you, th- if we think about the current uh, environment where it's like team member leaves, they give their notice, and then it's reactive. We've got to post. We've got to fill that gap if we are going to fill that gap. But what you're sort of alluding to here is you've got yeah those eligible candidates there sitting there as essentially they're approachable. Like it's essentially a, re- a recruitment tool, isn't it? Like you're actually yeah. el- not eliminating, but you're you're doing a lot of the heavy lifting of recruiting um, before it even is an issue. So you actually. In some ways, future proving the business, right? From a resource. Oh, perspective. love it! Yes, nailed it. Nice. Um, and yeah, sorry, I mentioned the the sort of seek thing there. But if if someone is you know applying for a job via seek or one of those portals, my understanding is that is directly coming into the employment hero um, ecosystem, and then you know the process is managed from there. It's it's eliminating the spreadsheets, the manual sort of email sort of stuff. Great. Yeah. So we have all of those tools as well, which is fantastic. Okay, I'd love to, like we've heard a lot of great things about what the platform does currently and you sort of gave us some um, insight into maybe what's coming around the, um, you know, the recruitment side of things in terms of smart match, but is there any insight you can give us, Emily, on, you know, what's on the roadmap or development path for Employment Hero? Yeah, so I'm excited about automation for payroll. Mm-hmm. So I have a background in payments. So I worked at uh, Go Cardless for four years, and so making yep. payments as automated and as visu- in as invisible as possible was kind of like the best mm-hmm. thing. So, for example, everything I you know have is direct debited. I never have to think about it, set and forget. Just it's kind of like it's done. So 
Although yeah. all hell goes loose when the things do, you know, uh, <laughs> change or you change your bank account and everything's, you know, confusing or whatever it might be. Mm-hmm. But like to me, it, like not having to think about it is great. So how does that fit within payroll when you think about this complicated legislation and, and process? Well, that's where I think Employment Hero is going to be really making change for those that have to do payroll on a daily basis. Uh, where they actually can reduce using AI and machine learning and automation those repetitive tasks that don't allow that payroll admin to be able to do the most valuable work, which might be looking at why they have too many, you know, um, why there's too much overtime for last month or why this overtime has been increasing. Like because they have to do the payroll, they can't work on the payroll. They're doing the payroll. So being able to reduce all of those really heavy repetitive tasks as part of payroll and be able to move to payroll automation, that is really exciting for me. Um, so I can't say too much exactly in that direction, but like it, that's where we're looking at the power of AI, the power of automation, machine learning to be able to make the tasks less and provide more time back for those individual users but and to do more work on the business that's really valuable. So this is perfect for an accountant and bookkeeper or an advisor that can then just go, we need to advise you on this because we haven't had to do all of this this additional work. It doesn't mean that you'll lose, you know, uh, I would say, you know, money basically on not doing the work. Now you're adding money because you're doing more high value work, which is going to see that business potentially grow. So that's where I see it being really exciting. Cool. No, I'm with you and I think it's, yeah, it's moving that role away from working like in the file to working on the file, right? And as you said, Correct. becoming more proactive and providing actual advice rather than sort of processing uh, manual sort of bank transactions and making sure people get paid on time. And I would love to think that that's actually what you got as a as an advisor or you know in that sense or the you know a financial advisor in any sense of the sense in the word is that you've come into that business to do exactly that to to give advice to be able to see a business or an individual grow i don't know many accountants and bookkeepers that are not passionate about their clients growing and expanding they don't want to see their clients go into you know the opposite direction um, so that's what I really like about it because they're all incredibly passionate, you know, people. And then even for example, it's just in a payroll admin, you know, and a payroll admin who has now the ability to do really valuable work is going to feel a lot more empowered in their day to day work than they are if they just have to sit there and churn through that. Doesn't mean that the 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 actual work they're doing decreases it, it gives them more opportunity and see in my opinion I, I want to be creative but it gives them more opportunity to do more valuable work and I think that's really um empowering oh definitely no I'm with you 100 and yeah excited to see um all those sort of updates come to fruition so yeah Emily thank you so much for your time is I mean what's the best way for someone to learn more about either employment hero or yourself yeah, just jump on Employment Hero and, and go through the website. You know, there's, it's very easy. So just employmenthero.com. Um, we can take you all swag as well. So you'll be able to see that. So the swag app is different depending on whether or not you want to, you're looking for a new job or whether or not you're looking for a new yep. HR and pay, payroll tool. Um, and then myself, you can find me on LinkedIn. So um, I, I go by the name M uh, on LinkedIn, just so you know, but uh, you can find me there, yep. Emily Shiri. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Emily or M, sorry. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.